Hello there, this is Joseph again with another QML tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to chug along down through our dialogues and we're going to get into the font dialogue which is a lot of fun uh, especially for editors and so on and so forth but let's just get started. So the first thing in this example, let's just uh, do this, let's make a call not a cop, a cop. <laughs> I don't even know if they're, I should make a, yeah, I should make something called a cop and let's see what that would turn out like. Uh, so we're going to fill this into our parent and then from here what we're going to do is we're going to have some text, right, and then we're going to name it txt and uh, actually we're just going to name it t and then what we're going to do here is, is we are going to say vertically center, I'm sorry, vertical alignment. We're going to give it the enumeration of align vertical center. Actually, let's just do it with the horizontal. Um, so, horizontal center and text align horizontal center. Okay, so now we have this text here and it just says text and uh, let's do this. Let's say font and up here let's change this from hello world to font example so if we save and run this you will see in our in um, horizontal is a read only oh geez align horizontal there we go sorry about that and now when we run this we get this guy right. It doesn't know the width, so it's not aligned horizontally center. But let's uh, let's go ahead and cl clean this all up and do that. So what we will do is, is we'll say width equals parent width. There we go. And let's run that just to make sure. And here it comes, and now it's in the center. Okay, that's wonderful. And just for cleaning up and spacing, say 20. Um, and uh, there it is. There's our font text right there. Okay. So let's go ahead. Uh, first thing is, is uh, we don't need any of this text information, text none of that. We don't need standard information. We don't need icons um, on accepted and rejected. We're definitely going to need, but we're not going to quit the application. And uh, for now, what we're going to do is, is we are going to say here, let's clean this up. We need to make it into a font dialog. So font dialog, simple as that. Um, so what we are going to do is first show this and then show what we can do with it. So let's go ahead and run this and uh, it looks like I have something wrong but when we run you can see we get a font dialog which shows us all the different styles of font that are installed on the system and the weight and the size and the style of the font. Um, these are kind of important to remember. We'll be working with those in just a second. Um, so we go ahead and accept by pressing the OK button. OK, that is good, right? OK, what is this? Table view 63. Oh, this is crazy. OK, so let's get started here. So on accepted, let's go ahead and say t dot uh, tag, uh, we'll say font dot uh, bold is equal to Let's change this to be much smaller. Let's say F dialog for, actually, we'll call it font dialog all the way around. Whoops. F dialog dot font dot bold. Right? So we're going to do this for all of these all the way down. Um, but for right now, let's just do the simple ones. So we'll say, and let me scale this up so we can actually see what I'm typing, hopefully. So we'll say, dot font dot weight equals font dialog dot dot font dot weight and t dot font dot family equals font dialog here's a little get you right here font dialog dot font only um I don't get it um anyways uh next what we'll do is say uh, t dot font dot pixel size equals font dialog dot font dot pixel size save and run this okay so we open this guy let's center this up uh, we open this guy up right sample dialog is not defined okay we gotta fix that because we changed it to font dialog go up and boom and the 
power of doing things on the fly. Now we run this, and again, boom, all right, cool. So now we're gonna go down through these different fonts. Let's find a wacky one here. Where's Comic Sans at? I don't know. I don't know, I like that, that's pretty wacky. We'll do extra bold, and then we'll say that it's 48 pixels. Um, and keep on, that's, that's probably good for right now. So then we're going to do the okay, and as you can see, our text has been changed to that font and everything. So it's uh, pretty powerful. Um, if we go in, we see these italic underline strikeout overview, um, overline, I'm sorry. Um, let's uh, let's take a look at how to implement one of those. We'll just do italic for now. Um, it's, it's the same as the other ones, uh, but let's just do it. So um, we would do t dot font dot uh, italic, and then we would just do font dialog dot font dot italic save and run this and when we open this up and we go to the, press on italic here and um, let's say here droid sand let's, let's see what it looks like without it with it we will do thin extra thin extra black bold extra bold and we'll go down and we'll make it 72 and there's our italic and then we what we do here is, is we press the OK button and there we are as italic and uh, just to prove that we'll do underline and then we'll be done with this tutorial. So what we'll do is, is we will open up our font dialog we will go down to this crazy one right here of ding back and we will make this 72 and we will do it underline and italic um, well italic looks bad so we'll just do underline and then we'll press ok and then there we go we have this craziness going on um, and let's just tinge it back and we'll make this thin and or yeah thin is good and then we will do OK and we changed it back to be font and over here let's jump on it make it italic and over um, now we could use this in text uh, we can make our own text editor really fast with this sort of style of dialogue where we would have a text area and whatever is highlighted underneath it uh, we would find the front and the back of that text and then set the font on just that um, anyways this is Joseph uh, I hope you enjoyed this uh, video tutorial uh, next up is uh, color dialogue okay take care now